Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Premier Football Chat. I'm just going to drop an extended video on the Premier League Awards this week because, yeah, I thought, yeah, this week that's just gone. It's been absolutely incredible. So much drama, man. You had the Liverpool game, you had Man United and Man City both losing and also Brighton getting beat 6-1 as well and Luton getting a win. Yeah, so much drama. So, yeah, let's start, get right into this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. So, yeah, my team of the week is it's a difficult one so yeah you like i said you got aston villa they won 6-1 against a good brighton team and yeah that were brighton's second defeat of the season and then you've got tottenham who beat liverpool for the first time in quite a while so yeah since 2017 and you've also got arsenal got a nice 4-0 win and yeah they closed the gap on the man city and they lost the will so yeah, they could also be team of the week. And you could also give it Crystal Palace after they were really poor in the Caribou Cup against Manchester United, but then came back and got the win at Old Trafford. Or you could also give it to uh, Luton, who got their first win against uh, Everton away as well. They were wrote off by a lot of people. So, yeah, let's break it down then. So, for me, I'm going to give the team of the week to Wolves. Just because, yeah, I thought uh, they've gone, the beat Man City, nobody expected that as well. They were outstanding as well. They should, had so much pace on the uh, counter attack. And, uh, yeah, Neto was brilliant for that first goal, that run that he made. And when he just burst past Nathan Aki and then broke into the box and it came off uh, Ruben Diaz and went in. Yeah, so for me, Wolves get team of the week. It was a close one, obviously. They had so many good teams who performed well. But yeah, we beat the champions. They hadn't lost in the league for a really long time as well. So yeah, they definitely deserved it. And yeah, is it Nelson Semedo? Yeah, he caused Nathan Aki quite a few problems as well with his pace. And yeah, Man City were not really at it as much. And yeah, for me, the flop of the week. And when I do this flop of the week, I normally give it to like a player, but... My goodness, after what I saw against uh, Tottenham and Liverpool, I've just watched back the highlights of all the games as well. And yeah, I have to give it to VAR, Darren England. How can you not draw on the lines? Make it make sense. It's odd. How can you not do it? Like, it's just a simple job. Just draw the line. For me, to the naked eye, like he looked offside to me. No, sorry, he looked onside. Sorry, apologies. Yeah, he looked onside. So yeah, it looked like Romero's leg was... Uh, playing them on side but I don't get how like for me I thought the linesman probably should have seen it anyway but obviously once it goes to VAR it's not an easy job being a linesman but once it goes to VAR you've got to draw the lines on it's basic and for them to like fall asleep basically in at Stockley Park and just assume like the linesman didn't flag is it's embarrassing it's pathetic and one thing I'm quite interested to uh find out over the next coming days because Liverpool have asked for the audio of what went on in VAR and that's going to be quite interesting if they release that to the public as well so I hope they do so I hope we get to hear that as well so yeah Darren England you've got to be flop of the week I would have given it Esther Pinion because he scored an own goal and they conceded six and basically that own goal made me laugh as well but yeah Darren England my goodness and look at for the red card for uh, Curtis Jones if you watch it back they show this still of it where it's at the end where it looks like a horrible leg breaker but he just went over the top of the ball for me like yeah he looked at looked bad challenge when you want you to slow it down and everything but he, he wasn't meant or anything like that and the second sorry the first yellow card for Jota that were odd that that was very odd like he didn't really do anything and then a doggy went down second yellow card yeah you can't complain you can't do that you it's your own fault you're on the yellow card you get sent off but yeah, so down in England, you're going to get a flop of the week. My player of the week, so it's a quite a tricky one. So there have been so many good performances. Ollie Watkins got a hat-trick. Uh, Kai Havertz got off the mark. Anderson scored a good goal. But for me, I'm going to give it to uh, Ballon Dawson, as they said on match. <laughs> Ballon Dawson, as they said on match of the day. Just because that performance against uh, Erling Haaland was outstanding. And in the first half, the Man City played the ball across the six-yard box and it looked like it was going to get to Haaland. But Dawson stuck out a leg and made a brilliant challenge, man, to get that away. And yeah, Haaland didn't really have a sniff and that was probably one of the main reasons why Wolves got the win because of that performance from Dawson. And yeah, not many people can uh, keep say that they kept Haaland quite quiet like that. 
over the past year and a bit. So yeah, it was an outstanding performance. And yeah, my t yeah. So giving team of the week to Wolves as well because yeah, obviously they won. So two one against Man City. Uh, player of the week, I'm gonna give it to Craig Dawson. And fourth of the week, I would have given it to Esther Pinion, but yeah, it's got to be Darren England and VAR. Disgraceful, man. And I'm going to add a bonus one because it's in a video. So, goal of the week. Let me know who you think goal of the week was. Uh, was it Anderson for Man uh, for Crystal Palace against Man United or was it Almiron? Because that goal from Alm Almiron was an absolute banger. Wow, that was a good goal. I'm going to give it to uh, Anderson just because, yeah, you're a centre-back and you... It was a great technique on the half volley, right into the roof of the net, and it ball was a bit behind you. You've absolutely smashed it in. So yeah, that was a good goal. So yeah, I thought this week, but Premier League was the most entertaining one so far. So yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Who do you think were team of the week? Who do you think were goal of the week, player of the week, and flop of the week? And yeah, peace out. Have a good one.